Hello everyone, welcome back to Risa Does Makeup. If this is your first time here, my name is Risa and I was a freelance makeup artist for over 20 years. And now I make YouTube videos sharing all of the tips and tricks that I have learned over the years. I have worked for Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier, Giorgio Armani, and from 2007 to 2010, I owned my very own makeup boutique selling hair care, skin care, and makeup. And today I'm going to share with you my top 10 face primers for mature skin, for mature oily skin, for mature dry skin, for mature combo skin, whatever your skin type, there is going to be a primer in here that I think is really fantastic and that I think you will love. And by the way, I have primers of all price ranges in this video. The first primer I wanna talk about is one that I've been using for a couple of years now. This one is amazing for pretty much all skin types because what it really does best is it smooths the look of fine lines. I am not exaggerating when I say that I have applied the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Lime Blur Factor to the foreheads of some people with deep lines and it has literally made them disappear. Luckily for me, I don't have deep lines just yet and I don't have any Botox. I never would get Botox in my forehead. If you have hooded eyes, that's pretty much the last thing you wanna do because what Botox does is it relaxes the muscles. So it would only make my lids more hooded. In the past when I have gotten Botox, I've just gotten it around my eyes and one little dot here to give my brows a little bit of a lift, but I digress. If you have lines in your forehead and you want to smooth them without getting Botox, you've got to try this primer. It also really helps refine the look of large pores. It keeps my makeup on all day. My makeup also goes on so beautifully over it. So if lines are your biggest concern, definitely look into this one from Strivectin. So up next are three of my favorite affordable hydrating primers. This one is the newest one I've been trying. It's from Milani. It is called the Supercharged Dewy Primer. It contains ginseng and citrus extract. This is such a beautiful, lightweight primer that just sinks right into your skin and makes it feel just so good, almost like you've just gotten a facial. And it smells like citrus. I like that. I'm not sure everybody would, but... Um, I do love the scent of this. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it, so it really does help to grip your foundation. But I will say that if you are excessively oily, you would definitely wanna avoid using this through your T-zone. Or you could do what I do, which is apply a mattifying primer to the center of your face through the T-zone, and then apply this to the rest, the drier portions. This is an excellent, excellent drugstore primer as is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer with Hyaluronic Acid. I love a primer that contains hyaluronic acid because I think by now we all know that hyaluronic acid is such a great ingredient for keeping your skin hydrated, for keeping moisture and water in your skin. Now, unfortunately, the Pretty Fresh Foundation didn't work that great for me. It didn't really hold up on my oily skin, even with this primer, but the primer, feels amazing. It's not quite as sticky as the Milani. So to me, this doesn't extend the wear of my foundation as well as a product that has a little bit more, I should probably not use the word sticky. I should probably use the word grip. It doesn't have as much grip as the Milani or the one I'm gonna show you next, but it really is hydrating and makes my foundation go on beautifully and just makes my skin feel very comfortable. I can also use a very, very matte foundation on top of this primer and have it not look so flat matte, have it look a little bit more skin-like. And speaking of gripping primers, this one is from Hard Candy. It is the Sheer Envy 12-Hour Makeup Grip Hydrating Primer. It plumps, moisturizes, and perfects. And that it does has a really cool look to it and feel to it. It's a gel, it has a little bit of a green tint to it, and it's definitely tacky. So if you don't like that feeling, if you don't like the feeling of a gripping primer, then you're not gonna like this. But it's not 
overly tacky. It's not like it never dries down. Once it's blended in, it almost has a cooling effect to it. And it just makes my skin feel really refreshed. I'm tapping the back of my hand just to see if one is stickier than the other, if the Milani or the Hard Candy is stickier. I feel like the Hard Candy side is a bit smoother. So now I think I'm gonna show you the next three primers that are definitely more on the pricey side, but they are so, so good. And the first primer is one that I've spoken about over and over in videos on my channel because I have oily skin and because it works so well for controlling oil. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I'm not gonna tell you that it stops oil from coming through at all, but it does a better job at controlling oil than pretty much any other primer I've ever used. It also refines the look of my pores. It has an SPF 15. It also helps to conceal redness a little bit. So if you have rosacea, this will definitely tone it down. And it also does a decent job of blurring fine lines. Not as good as the Strivectin, but it does a nice job. Next up is the Dior Backstage Primer. This is amazing for anyone with combination to dry skin. This primer also helps to blur imperfections. It's going to help your makeup last so much longer. It also offers up to 24 hours of hydration and it's gonna give your skin a little extra luminosity. I love the formula of this primer. Just like all the other primers I'm showing you, it feels so good on the skin. It plays so nicely under pretty much every foundation I have ever tried. That's why it's part of the Backstage line. If you're not familiar with the Dior Backstage collection, it is a collection that is used by a lot of pro makeup artists backstage at fashion shows, at runway shows. So, wow, I forgot how just nice this feels on the skin. So what I was trying to say is that this is definitely a professional grade product that's going to work under whatever foundation you happen to be using. Next up is the YSL Touche Clot Blur Face Primer. First, let's talk about this packaging. It's stunning. And you can see little flecks of gold in the product. This is another non-greasy, lightweight primer. This one is good for all skin types. It's not oil-free though. So if your skin reacts to oils, then you would want to check out one of these other primers that are oil free. This one actually contains a couple of oils. It's got corn oil, apricot kernel oil, and rice bran oil. If you do have normal to dry skin, this is another primer that's gonna give you a beautiful glow. Primers eight and nine are both from the newly relaunched Makeup Forever Primer Collection. They're step one is what they call it. I was lucky enough to have Makeup Forever send me the entire range. They have primers for redness. They have primers for sallowness. Because I don't have those concerns, I haven't really used those. So unfortunately, I can't speak to them. But obviously, I can speak about the ones I have tried. And my two favorites are the Shine Control Primer and the Hydra Booster Primer. One is great for obviously combating shine on oily skin, and the Hydra Booster is great for, well, boosting hydration in the skin. I can use both of these together. You guessed it, one through the T-zone, one on the perimeter, and these both also work beautifully under every makeup, every type of foundation I have applied over them. That's a concern for a lot of people. I know it is. I've heard from my viewers that once in a while you will try a foundation primer and you'll go to put your makeup on top and the foundation either pills or it just doesn't go on well. It goes on streaky or you're left with some sort of patchiness or it just doesn't make your foundation look that great. It doesn't play nicely with your foundation. I've tried these primers with really matte foundations, with hydrating foundations, with, I don't really use powder foundations, but I have used a cream or stick foundation over these. And in my experience, they worked beautifully together. Makeup Forever is another brand that sort of centers around the professional, around the makeup artist. Not that non-professionals can't use the brand, obviously. <laughs> They're in Sephora. They want everyone to use their products but they're made so that they can be multi-use and multi-purpose. And in the case of the primers, that they can work with any foundation you choose to use. And finally, while I feel that both the Makeup Forever primer 
and the Hourglass Primer are exceptional at helping to control oily breakthrough on the skin, I know not everyone can afford a 30 plus dollar primer. So I've recently discovered this oil from Jason Wu, which is a brand that can be found at Target. This, stay with me here, I know is probably confusing to some of you. You might be thinking oil on oily skin as a primer, how is that going to work? I'm not really sure how it works but it does. And what's truly amazing about this primer is that you can use it either before you apply your makeup or you can use it to touch up. And I actually recently demonstrated this in a video. I'm trying to think which video it was. It wasn't the one for this makeup look. It was maybe my monthly favorites video. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now because I just filmed this makeup tutorial and I've only recently powdered. You just put a couple of drops of this oil on your fingertips and you press it into the shiny areas and it instantly mattifies without messing up your makeup. This is brilliant. So those are my current picks for the 10 best makeup primers on the market right now in all price points. Of course, I have not tried every primer out there. So if you have one that you love that I have not mentioned here, please let us all know in the comments. I would love to perhaps try some of your favorites and maybe do another video, another update of uh, the best primers out there on the market. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would do that. I do try to put out new videos at least twice per week. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok under the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.